All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we are going to be showcasing quite possibly the greatest rotation currently available in the game. And of course, I'm talking about the double easy A Vegito rotation of the AGL Super Vegito as well as the Fizz Vegito Blue. Now, of course, as you guys know, this is a rotation that's currently only available to global players. So uh, definitely a win for the global team. We don't get a lot of those. So anytime we do get one, I got to mention it. And for those of you that have been watching my videos for at least the past couple weeks, past couple months, this is something I've been talking about for a very long time. I've been just so excited to have a chance to run these guys together. And yesterday with the release of the AGL Super Vegito Extreme Z Awakening on Global, it's finally possible. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's uh, link these boys up together and see what happens, man. I'm expecting some explosiveness. I'm expecting obviously some insane, insane damage. And uh, let's start off here with a super attack from the enemy Goku. Awesome. Okay, so not the greatest showing for AGL Vegito. That counter was nice though. That counter was nice. Now, I will be frank, all right, I will be, I will be honest, um, neither of these guys can tank super attacks super well, right? I mean, the Fizz Vegito Blue actually does a lot better, right? After a couple supers, he can actually take a hit, but um, AGL Super Vegito, still not the greatest at taking super attacks. Yo, we just did a lot of damage while I was talking there. Uh, Fizz Vegito Blue, holy crap. Okay, so first turn, this dude just did like 3 million plus damage. Um, AGL Super Vegito did okay too, but not as impressive there. But you gotta keep in mind actually, that the reason Fizz Vegito Blue did as much damage as he did is because the AGL Vegito supered first, right? And he increases the attack of the rotation by 35% after he supers. So he actually did, you know, support the fifth Vegito Blue a little bit, right? So what I would recommend actually is always to put the AGL Super Vegito first, let him super because he can also get like an additional super. So you get that 35% twice and then your fifth Vegito Blue is going to be hitting that much harder, right? Because without support, he's already hitting super super hard but then you factor in the support and uh, he's just gonna be doing some crazy damage as you saw there we didn't even have a support on rotation so imagine once we get that uh, tech supreme kai of time with the two vegetos that's gonna be crazy that's gonna be crazy okay so here we go once again we're gonna do the same thing as before so super vegeto in the beginning and then phase vegeto blue second and then we have the lr goku black not LR, my bad. The I wish it, I wish it was the LR. The Int Goku Black there, just for some extra tanking on this team, because I do intend to beat this event today. So we do need a little bit more defense. Okay, here we go. 1.5 mil for a super, and he's gonna finish off the Goku, so we don't get to see what the base Vegito Blue does. I mean, these stages are pretty easy, right? So we're not gonna be able to see these guys at, the, at their full potential, just because. We're gonna be killing the Goku too fast, but later on, you know, when it comes to Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, so on and so forth, um, both of them should be able to get all their attacks off, and uh, it should be pretty freaking nice. So I'm gonna put the friend Vegito in the front here, because I believe he has one more dupe than me. And eventually, I do want to get the Zamasu. Mm, or maybe not. Um, I was gonna say Zamasu and Goku Black together, but the AGL Zamasu really doesn't have great defense, especially in his final form. So, maybe I don't want him in rotation. I'll see. I'll see. I mean, it's still early on, so I haven't really decided exactly what I want to do. All I, know, all I know is I want to keep the Vegitos together, obviously. That's the main goal here. And uh, we'll figure out the rest later. <laughs> we'll figure out the rest later. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys are enjoying the AGL Super Vegito Extreme Z Awakening. Um, if you guys have gotten it done already. If not, then... What are you waiting for? Go do it, man. He is 100% worth it. I don't I don't care what anybody says. I've heard people say that they're not super impressed with him, but I feel like the only reason people are saying that is because our expectations were too high for him. And if you just look at him objectively as a just regular easy A, he's still really, really freaking good, man. Okay, so we got the support now. And we just I'm just hoping we don't get super here. If we do though, it, it could hurt a bit. We're not gonna die, obviously, but it's, it's gonna hurt if we, if we get supered. But no supers yet. A lot of counters, not a lot of damage though, unfortunately. 2.2 mil 
for the super here. And we're going to crit 1.66. So still no attack from Vegito Blue. Just because AGL Vegito just finishes off the Goku too fast. <sighs> alright, alright. It's okay though. It's okay. Um, yeah, get your AGL Super Vegitos done. I've had a few people ask me actually if this guy is worth... Um, if he is worth using coins to buy in the Baba Shop. And... Honestly, I think he's good enough. I do. I think he's good enough to use coins on. That being said, I would say still save your coins for Dokkan Fest LRs. And eventually, I'm sure you're going to be able to get the AGL Super Vegito on like another banner. Um, he's featured on in the future. But if you really want him right now, I mean, he's not the worst investment of your coins. You know what I mean? Like, I think he's good enough to warrant. Oh, crap. Um... Yeah, okay, so I, I should have paid attention to the Goku Black because obviously he doesn't have any defense yet. He builds defense really fast, but start off, starts off with very little defense. So that might have been a misplay. I mean, we lost some HP. It's not too bad, though, right? We took about 130k there. Um, after we supered, though, it got cut in half. So we're okay. We're okay. We're still alive, right? And then we're going to get the Dokkan attack. We're going to heal back to full. I'm not going to use any items until the very end. Should be fine. Should be fine. Alrighty, so I am gonna say... You know what, I'm gonna put the Fizz Vegeta Blue here because I'm pretty sure one of the attacks in the first slot is gonna be a super attack. So let's uh, just be extra safe. I mean, Fizz Vegeta Blue still struggles a little bit with supers, but not nearly as much as the AGL one. So yeah, I'm glad I made that choice. Obviously it was very smart, 174k still. Uh, normal attacks though, not doing any damage. That's okay. 1.7 mil for the first super. Second super coming in. Nope. Additional attack. Nope. Okay. <laughs> so just the one super. That's okay though. Um, obviously, normal attacks for the rest of these attacks. And they don't do any damage to us. So we don't really have to worry about those at all. No crits. Interesting. Alright. So as you can see, um, when AGL Super Vegito doesn't take the attack first, he doesn't get that extra attack boost. And he will do a little bit... I mean, quite a bit less damage, right? So it's 1.1 mil versus the 1.5 mil from before. Actually, over 2 mil before because we had the uh, Supreme Kai of Time. But yeah, a big drop off in damage. But obviously, that was a smart thing to do. Because if we didn't do that, we would have died, right? <laughs> Alright, so for this turn, um, what shall we do? I mean, I want to put the Supreme Kai of Time here. Just to keep her supporting the other guys, but... At the same time, at the same time, there's a lot of attacks at the end. Should I pop the active skill? Here's my question for Zamasu. Uh, I'm gonna I'm save. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that. Um, so let's actually go Stasher here. I know it's really early to use items, but uh, I still want to get the support for that rotation and just see like how much damage they can do with the support. So for now, we're just gonna use the Ghost Stasher. I don't think it's gonna hurt us too bad overall. I think we'll still have enough items to clear the event. I mean, I say that now. We'll, we'll see exactly what happens, right? Because you never know with these things. You never know with the Legendary Goku event. Like, it can never be too safe. So, hopefully that wasn't a terrible decision. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so as you can see, Goku Black doing some really good damage here. 1.7 mil uh, <laughs> additional super too. So 2.5 mil attacks that for both the supers. First one did 1.7 mil, this one's going to do 1.7 mil again. Pretty good. Pretty solid. I like it, I like it. Man, this is a very, very fun rotation, my friends. Oh! Okay, so I was going to say, yo, we're going to be able to see the super attack coming, like where it is, because of the uh, AGL Vegito's um, passive, his ability to see super attacks after when you're below 40% HP, but obviously Vegito healed us up, so... Oh, no, actually, no, we still get that. We still get that. I forgot that actually it technically counts as you being under 40% HP first at the start of the turn, and then Vegito heals up, like the LR Vegito heals up. So we still get that second part, or the last part, the second part? The second part of AGL Super Vegito's passive. And as you can see, there's the circles around the uh, Super Saiyan God Goku, and it shows us that none of these attacks are going to be super attacks, so we're safe this turn. So let's just uh, put... You know, AGL Vegito here, give the rest of the rotation some extra attack. And then we can also get the Ultra Super off with the LR Vegito. So this actually should be 
game over for Godku. We should be moving on to Super Saiyan Blue right now. Um, if all things go according to plan, which I think they will. Which I think they will. Let's see how much this counter does. Ooh, crit about 600k. 1.8 mil for uh, Phase Vegito Blue. 1.9 mil for the second super. Come on, yo, four supers, let's go. All right, so third attack, fourth, four attacks, but two of them, only two of them are supers. And so the counter is up to 537,000 for a, a for, for, for a counter that's pretty freaking good, man. 537k for a counter, damn. And then, yep, that's it for Super Saiyan God Goku. I did not expect him to survive. That LR Vegito Blue 24 key super. And now we're on Super Saiyan Blue. It looks like we can't actually give the Dokkan attack to... Uh, I mean, I guess I could give it to the LR Vegito. But it actually looks like... Um, actually looks like this dude has more attack right now. Interesting, interesting. And he has a high chance to crit too, so... Maybe I will put him here. Right, we'll go like that. And does he have more defense? Oh, he actually has less defense, though. I mean, if we don't get supered in the very beginning, then we should actually build up more defense um, by the end, uh, no, after the super, right? Like, we should, he should have more defense after he supers. So as long as this one of these is not a super, there we go, okay, we're good. So now we get to super, we get to greatly raise defense again, and uh, we should be good to go, even if we get supered by the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, I think. I think. Let's see. Okay, so token attack, 2.23 mil attack stat. And still one of the best animations in the game. Like one of the best TUR animations. Actually, no, just best animations by any unit or rarity standard. Like this is a really, really clean super attack animation. As you can see, it went literally from like 40k that we're taking to 7k. This is still going to do some damage though. This the super. Yeah, 230. Oh, oh man. Oh man. That was rough. That was rough. Yeah, let's just get to the Vegito rotation as soon as possible. Yeah, we're, we're still alive this turn. No, we're good. We're good. No need to worry. No need to worry. We are good to go. Yes, okay. Okay, we heal up a little bit. And can we... We cannot see super attack. So now I'm a little bit worried. I'm actually going to pop a Icarus just to be safe. And then this rotation should be a very, very good showcase for our dual Vegitos. Let's see what happens. Alright, so 1.44 mil for AGL Super Vegito because he's not taking an attack in the beginning, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, we, get the, we get the additional two, but not an additional super. Additional super would have been really nice. And here is a crit counter, 765k. Regular counter, 252k, still pretty good, considering how much defense the Super Saiyan Blue Goku has. And now it's Vegito Blue's turn, 2.1 mil for the first super, 2.28 mil for the second super, third super, come on. No third super. The counter is doing one point, almost 1.3 million damage. Bro, <laughs> dude, almost 1.3 mil for the crit counter and Super Saiyan Blue Goku is dead but i tell you man that was a great great turn for the vegetos that that how much damage was that i didn't even know that was a lot of damage ah <sighs> dude i love it man i love it global first global exclusive for the time being for the time being all right no shade to jp players i do not dislike jp despite like what some people might think i love jp and i do play jp on occasion but you guys know i love global way more and you know, we don't get a lot of stuff, so it's like every time we get something that we can claim as our own, I gotta mention it, I gotta roll with it, you know? So, uh, you know, it is what it is, it is what it is. Okay, so, <laughs> this turn, let's, um, sh let let's pop the active skill here, because we do have the type of advantage, obviously, and I want to do as much damage as possible, get through this turn, or, or this stage as quickly as possible, because uh, I'm really scared of the STR. UI Goku. I think he's actually harder than the MUI at the end. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it, why that is, but I've just always felt that way, you know? 
So I'm feeling pretty safe about the LR Vegito in the beginning, and I'm feeling pretty safe about the Int Goku, uh, Goku Black in the middle as well. The only thing that worries me, obviously, the only guy that worries me is the Zabasu. But, I mean, we have the type advantage here, so we shouldn't take too much damage. Okay, so regular counter is not really doing too much here now. Yeah, okay. Okay, I mean, at least we're not taking any damage as well. We need those crit counters, as many as possible, ideally. Ah, oh, man, yo, even after all these years. I mean, I say that as, as if it's been like many years. Uh, even after two years, <laughs> this guy is still such a monster. The LR Vegito, still, uh, just still one of the best units in the game, no question. He's aged really, really well. Okay, Goku Black, 2.5 mil once again. Give me a crit. You have a 50% chance to crit, dude. Like, 50%. 50%. Ooh, 3.3 mil for Merge Zamasu. Okay. Okay. Crit. Ah, uh, no crit, but 2 mil right there, and we're only taking 6.4k for the regular attacks, so we're good to go there. We are good to go. Um, yeah, okay, so the only problem here is that Fizz Vegito Blue could get hurt really bad, right? Fizz Vegito Blue, like, if, if that's... I mean, there's only one attack in the middle, but chances are, given my luck, that's gonna be a super attack, so... I think I should pop an item. Let's uh, pop a... Should I pop a Princess Snake maybe? Or should I go like um, Android 8 for the two turns of defense? Or should I... S Ghost Usher? Or should I just roll the dice and just pray that it doesn't hit us for too much? I mean, there's going to be a super this turn. Okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's Princess Snake. Yeah, just, just be safe. Just be safe. Um, so healing back to full here, and I don't have to worry about anything, because we're really, I mean, no matter what happens, we're, we're safe this turn, right? No matter what happens, we're definitely safe this turn. Okay, so first counter, not doing a ton of damage. The crit here, 540k, that's pretty good. And then 1.56 mil for the for the super here. Give me an additional super too. Let's, let's get two super, there we go, there we go, thank you. Okay, so double super, twice the attack boost for Biz Vegito Blue as well as um, the LR Vegito at the end. Crit, there we go. 911k for the crit. Another, nope, not another, okay, 550k for a regular counter is still very, very solid. So we're getting at least two supers here from Fizz Vegito Blue. There's an additional attack, and that's it. And we took nine damage there. <laughs> Nine damage for the normal attack. Oh, I love these guys, man. I love this rotation. I'm, I'm serious. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I say this could be, like, literally the best rotation in the game right now. At the very least, if it's not the best, it's the most fun. If it's not the best, it's the most fun rotation you could possibly run in Dokkan. Okay, so we are definitely not gonna let her... Um, Supreme Kai of Time at the end, let, 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 let her chill there, so uh, I think we'll have to split these guys up. Unless... I mean, what are the chances that Final Attack is a super? What are the chances actually that MUI or UI Goku survives this turn? Pretty low, right? It's pretty low. Should be okay. Should be okay. Okay, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna roll with it. I don't want to use another, another item this turn. So we are just going to assume that our LR Vegito will finish the job here. And he's starting off really well, right? He's starting off really well. <laughs> and there we go, he's dead. Okay, so didn't have to worry too much. Glad I didn't use an item. That would have been a huge waste. And now we are on the final stage here. The MUI. Goku. Um, uh, uh, we are, we're going to have to go Stasher here. Because look at all those attacks at the end, man. I'm not going to risk that. No way. So just no counters this turn. It is what it is. I mean, it, it, we're, not, we're, not, we're not showcasing them on a regular event, right? Where like I can do whatever I want. So we kind of sometimes have to do some plays, do some things that we don't necessarily want to do to get it done. But uh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, we will get to see some nice counters 
soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. Alright, let's see. 1.3 mil for the first super. Alright, additional attack, additional attack, and another additional. So, four attacks in, in, in total. Just unfortunately, none of them, um, or only one of them was a super. We still haven't seen four supers in a row yet. I definitely want to see that before this video ends. That is definitely a goal here. The, uh, the, the quadruple super here. Um... So I'm gonna put him there, obviously. And we can't even give him enough orbs to super attack. That's not good. That is not good. Um, well, it is what it is. Uh, let's pop in. Do I need to pop an Icarus? Uh, do I? Do I need an Icarus? Do I need an Icarus? I don't. I don't think I do. Do I need an Icarus? That is a good question. Hmm, let's, um, no, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. <laughs> Watch people in the comments right now be like, yo, bro, you're gonna die. You're about to die. Just use an item. Don't be, don't be cheap. Um, okay, fine. Let's pop there, Chris. It's okay. It's okay. We'll make it. We'll make it. Gotta stay positive. All right, so doing a little bit of damage with the counters, not not too much, but a little bit. You know, we're still hurting him, and uh, this is the super. We have an Icarus active, so maybe like 50k or so, maybe a little bit less. 134. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, thank goodness, man. Thank God I use that. I use that Icarus now. Oh my god. It's like it's like every time I do this event, I forget how hard. The UI Goku's, the second stage, second last stage, and the final stage hit. Like I, I just forget every time, you know. And um, I get reminded sometimes in a very, very painful way because I die, and that's how I get reminded just how hard they hit. But I'm glad that we uh, we were smart about it this time. We were smart about it this time. Okay, so this girl is such a liability. Um. Damn, okay, well, we, we have the Icarus active, but she's still gonna be hitting, taking so much damage. So I think we have to put her in the beginning. And I guess I'll take out Super Vegito. Um, we might have to split them up, actually. Yeah, it looks like we have to split them up. Do you wanna go like that? Or do I wanna go like this? Man, I hate you, Goku. Hate him so much. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna pop up Android 13. And... You know, we do have a decent amount of dodge on her, so maybe... She can just dodge a bunch of attacks, we don't have to really worry about it too much. Uh, okay, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We, 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 we are definitely in danger here. We are definitely in danger, that is for sure. A 65k, that's cute. Oh! 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 Interesting. Well, uh, him getting supered is not really a great thing either. Yeah, 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 okay. 204k, I mean, could have been worse. Could have been worse. Yo, don't dodge that. Don't do that to me. Okay, 2.3 mil for Vegito Blue, okay. 1.7 mil crit. Some solid damage there. And, uh, yo, we gotta see some nice counters here now. Ooh, 1.2 mil for the first counter. Ooh, come on, another one. Ooh, 1.2 mil again, another one. Okay, no crit there, 767k. Come on, give me a crit, give me a crit. More crit counters. Okay, 783. Ah, dodge that one. And that's it, okay. You know what, that was a pretty good turn, actually. That was a pretty good turn. We did a ton of damage with the Vegito Blue. So, let's, um, heal back again. Get some defense, and uh, this should be pretty cool. Man, why, why do we have such a bad board of orbs, man? This is terrible. Okay, so no super for Vegito. At least he gets a regular super, and then we can super with uh, Zamasu as well. Come on, crit counter number one, 592. Okay, okay. Another crit counter, 588. Uh, he'll be doing so much damage right now. If it wasn't for the fact that we couldn't give him any orbs. Another one, okay, 586. 
Looking good. Looking good. All right, 601. We might be able to finish next turn. Hopefully. And here's a super attack. Um, I'm going to say 150k. 100, 118. Okay, not bad. Not bad. All right, so Masu, do your thing. That, that The hit lands. He didn't dodge this one. 2.4 mil with the, with the attack, I think. Which is, uh, you know, it, it's something. Ooh, okay. I think this is it. I think this is it. Oh, we took a lot of damage there. Doesn't matter, though. Doesn't matter, though. And you know what? Just to be super safe, I'm going to pop the Android 8. And we'll use all our items, but it doesn't matter. And we're going to put this guy over here. And we're going to give him some orbs. And you know what? It's only fitting that the AGL Super Vegito finishes the fight. Because he is the new EZA, right? And um, it's his time to shine. So, yo. Let's just get it over Come on, man. <laughs> let's just get it over with. Let's just get it over with. Dude, come on. That, that, that would have killed him. Okay, this should definitely kill him. It should definitely kill him. There it is. There it is. AGL Super Vegito finishes the job. The king once again reclaiming his throne. Um, if you guys don't remember, maybe you weren't here. This guy, AGL Super Vegito. <clears throat> I'm getting too excited. My voice is go going away. <clears throat> My apologies. This dude, AGL Super Vegito, um, was the best unit in the game for a long time when he first came out. Like for, I, I want to say like a year after he released, he was the best unit. And then obviously, recently, over the past year or so, or two years, he wasn't as effective. He had, there were better options. The Fizz Vegito Blue, or sorry, Fizz Super Vegito was better. But uh, now, with the EZA, he is undoubtedly better than the Fizz uh, Super Vegito. And even though he's not the best unit in the game anymore, he is still just an absolute monster. All right, he does some crazy damage. The support on his super attack is clutch. And uh, him, together with the Fizz Vegito Blue, makes for, as I've said multiple times in this video, the best rotation in the game. If not the best, definitely the most fun. And uh, I'm going to be running this, running this team, running this rotation a ton over the next couple of weeks, couple of months. Who knows? Because it's just too much fun, man. It's just too freaking good. And uh, global players enjoy this while we can as our own, you know, exclusive rotation because eventually this EZA of course will go to JP and then at that point I'll be happy for the JP players to be able to enjoy this uh you know double EZA Vegeta rotation too but for now this is ours man this is ours we're gonna enjoy it we're gonna play with it for as long as we possibly can it sounds weird and uh, that's it guys that is the video thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video uh at least a little bit you know or at least as much as I enjoyed making it man why can't i talk today i can't even like think of like what i want to say it's like in my mind but i can't get the words out anyways i enjoyed it a lot hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it as well and as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out